Deborah, so glad to be connected with you. Love all the stuff you have going on. As you know, here on Reinvention Daily, everyone's favorite question right now, how have you reinvented your business? Thank you so much for asking, Andrew. Well, first of all, I have to say that I thought I was the director of marketing. And then I thought I was entertainment and producer. Then I thought I was an award-winning artist and an author. And then the world changed for me and I had a health crisis. And everything that I thought that I was, all of those accomplishments kind of went south. And I learned the hard way that self-worth is how I value myself and what I place on myself. So I decided to become a self-worth ambassador. I love that. I love every day when I see your content online and just, just your value on that is huge. Self-worth, as you've heard me say, self-forgiveness. The self is so important. And if you're not right right here, you can't be right anywhere else. So I applaud you for what you've done. It's a beautiful reinvention story and it's why a perfect fit for the show. And it leads me to my next question, Deborah, is, you know, what is the new conversation that you want to start as you move forward? Well, that I am so passionate about. I want to reach everybody that I can to first tell them that all the accomplishments are self-esteem. Everything that you've done your whole life are outside of yourself and you might define yourself as those things. But when you don't have them anymore, then you really have to go inside and say, how do I value myself? What value am I going to place? Because if I value myself, I'm going to ask for more money. I'm going to get the career that I want. If I really value myself, I'm going to get those relationships that are good for me and healthy. If I really, really value myself, I am going to make sure that I make happiness and being authentic part of my everyday agenda. In fact, the most important thing. And so the way that I'm going to get out there to make this happen and start this conversation, Andrew, which is essential to me, is I'm a motivational speaker and I'm also a life force facilitator. And what a life force facilitator is, is I kind of like know how to ignite the life force that might be waning in somebody so that they can live their best life.